Hey friends, I wanted to play around with taking our AI art and turning it into augmented reality and virtual reality experiences that anyone can access through the web. So we're gonna use this web application called WebXR Tools, which allows you to publish these experiences without writing any code. Signing up is free, and the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do after you sign up is create a new project. First, we're gonna make an immersive 360 degree project. We're just gonna give it a name and click Create. So you start off with this default scene that you can pan around. So you go over to your scenes on the left and click this pencil under your main entry. You can see right now they have image, they also have AI. So we're going to generate a new scene using a prompt. So I already have a prompt in here. We're just gonna make some alterations to it, play around and see what we get out of it. So beautiful magical forest landscape with mountains and rivers, Studio Ghibli. Let's try it out. So this is what I got. We can just go down to the bottom and click Save Changes, and it'll bring us back to our scene with our new generated image. Click Save and Publish in the upper right, and then click View Live Project to launch it. From here, you can just click Start Experience, and then you can pan around like you would normally with any panoramic VR experience. So the other thing we can do is we can share this with a mobile device. So let's go ahead and create a QR code for this and we'll open it up on our phone. Simply open up your camera app and then tap the QR code and it'll open it up right inside your browser. Then you cl click start experience and you can pan around with your finger or tap this button in the upper right to pan around with the gyroscope. Another tool that gives you a bit more control over creating your Skybox is Blockade Labs Skybox AI. It has a brush tool so you can just sketch out your terrain to define how you want your Skybox to look. So once it generates, we can pan around and preview the image that it generated, and then we can just download it and import it back into WebXR tools. Then back in WebXR tools, we just click on the pencil next to main entry, choose image and click this resource URL. And then we can just upload our image that we downloaded. Choose our new image, click select asset and then save changes. And just like that, we've got it in our scene. But what if we wanna create our scenery in mid journey? Midjourney recently added these arrow buttons that allow you to grow out your image and expand it into a larger panoramic image. So if we open our Skybox image from Blockade Labs in Photoshop, we can bring in our Midjourney design that we created into a panoramic image and lay it on top. We can then duplicate the Midjourney image and position it so that each midpoint is on the left and right end of our image. We want to make sure that the left and right match up perfectly. Then we can simply remove the background layer and make a selection with the marquee tool, shortcut M, and then holding down shift, we can just draw rectangles over the transparent portions that we want filled, as well as the seam in the middle. Then just click generative fill, generate. Then just save out this image and bring it back into WebXR tools. And just like that, we've converted our mid-journey design into a skybox that we can publish on the web. So WebXR tool also supports multiple scenes. So if you go over to the scenes area, you can just hit plus and add a completely new scene. And your sub scenes can even contain video. So we're just going to add one of our other VR 360 images as a scene and incorporate that. You can also add hotspots and embed things like links, images, but you can also allow it to navigate between these different scenes. So we can add a navigation hotspot to the next scene, and this will allow you to navigate between these different worlds, just like you would a link simply by tapping or clicking on them. Next, I want to place a 3D object in AR. So I'm going to use this app called Luma AI, which allows you to use your iPhone to capture any 3D object as a model. So with the app open, we just create new capture 
and it kind of steps you through the process. You just kind of have to calibrate your phone and then move it around the object a bunch. Then once it's done processing, you can export it as a variety of file types. So I'm going to export GLTF. So back in WebXR tools, we can just create a new project and choose VTO. Then on the left side, click model one. And then in the right settings panel, click on the 3D model folder. Then just drag in your 3D asset and choose select asset. So now that we've got it in our scene, we can publish and then view the project like we would normally. So you can drag it around. You'll also notice there was that branded loading screen and header. We can actually go back in and customize those. So if you click on the header, you can go in and either turn it off or change the assets or the way it looks. You can also click on this loader in the left sidebar and change the background color or even upload assets to change the background and the logo that's being shown. So you can really customize the branding. You can even adjust the animation and the size of the logo as well. So now if we open the web experience, we can click this QR button in the corner and just open it up with our camera on our phone. Then just click open in AR and point your phone at any surface and you'll see your model in augmented reality. And here it is next to the object that we took the 3D scan from. So what if we want to take our 2D designs from mid journey and convert them into 3D? Well, there's this hugging face space called Zoe depth that allows you to do that. So if you click this image to 3D tab, you can just drag your mid journey design right into the website in the input image and click submit. So here you can see the preview generated of our children's pop-up book that we created in mid journey. So you can go ahead and download this and then we'll bring it over into WebXR tools. So here's our children's pop-up book from mid journey to WebXR. These paper style images, I think it works really well for. And of course you could bring it into a 3D tool like Blender to touch it up or clean it up some more. But the kind of workflows that we have here, I think are really exciting.